Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x times square root of x minus square root of x is equal to 60. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. We suppose that this square root of x is equal to 10. Let square root of x is equal to m. And if we take square of both sides, this implies that x is equal to m squared. So, we replace this x with m squared. We replace this square root of x and this square root of x with m. Then this equation will become m squared times m minus m is equal to 60. Now, this m squared times m will become m cubed minus m. We move this 60 to the left hand side, it will become negative 60 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus m. This uh, negative 60, this negative 60 can be written as uh, negative 64 plus 4. So, we write this negative 60 as uh, negative 64 plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, because this is 64, 64 is the same as 4 cubed. So, we write this 64 with this m cubed. And we write this uh, 4 with this negative m like this m cubed minus 64 minus m plus 4 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus, we write this 64 as 4 cubed minus m plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, here we have a difference of uh, 2 cubes. So, by using this uh, algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This m cubed minus 4 cubed will become m minus 4 times m squared plus 4 times m plus 4 squared or 16. From these two terms, uh, negative m plus 4, we can factor out negative 1. Negative 1 as common factor and in bracket left, uh, m minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m minus 4, this expression m minus 4 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 4. And uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left this uh, m squared plus uh, 4m plus 16 and this negative 1. In bracket left uh, m squared plus uh, 4 times m plus uh, 16 minus 1 is equal to 0. Next, m minus 4 times m squared plus uh, 4 times m this is 16 minus 1 plus 15 is equal to 0. From here is this expression m minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 4 times m plus 15 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 4. This quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 15. And according to quadratic formula, m is equal to negative 4 plus minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write 4 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 15 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 
and m is equal to negative 4 plus minus square root of this uh, 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 15 60 divided by this 2 times 1 2 is m is equal to negative 4 plus minus square root of this is 16 minus 60 will become negative 44 divided by 2 and m is equal to negative 4 plus minus this is square root of negative 44 can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 11 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 next m is equal to negative 4 plus minus this square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 11 and this square root of negative 1 is equal to i divided by 2 next m is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 2 as common factor and in bracket left negative 2 plus minus root 11 times i divided by 2. So, this 2 will be considered out with this 2 and from here we get uh, value of m is equal to negative 2 plus minus root 11 times i. And first we get the value of m is equal to first we get the value of m 4. first we get the value of m4. So, we have a two values of m4 and a negative 2 plus minus root i. Now, to find the values of x recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a square root of x is equal to m. we have supposed that the square root of x is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 4 then this equation will become square root of x is equal to 4 and from here we take a square of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled over this square root and we get the value of x is equal to 4 squared is 16 this is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now, when value of m is negative 2 plus minus root 11 i, then this equation will become square root of x is equal to negative 2 plus minus root 11 i. From here, we take square of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get x is equal to by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus minus 2ab plus b squared. This uh, negative 2 plus minus root 11 i whole squared will become negative 2 squared plus minus 2 times negative 2 times root 11 i plus root 11 i squared. Next, x is equal to this negative 2 squared is 4 and plus minus 2 times negative 2 negative plus 4 times this uh, root 11 i plus uh, this uh, root 11 i squared will become 11 times i squared. Next x is equal to 4 negative plus uh, 4 times uh, root 11 i plus 11 times 
this uh, i squared is equal to negative 1 so we replace this i squared with the negative 1 x x is equal to 4 negative plus uh, 4 times root 11 i plus 11 times negative 1 negative 11 x x is equal to this 4 minus 11 will become negative 7 minus plus 4 times root 11 i so from here we get uh, two values of x x2 is equal to negative 7 minus 4 times root 11 i x3 is equal to negative 7 plus 4 times root 11 i and first we found the value of x1 x1 is equal to 16 so these are the three solutions of this equation